Hello and welcome to Yard Critter Cams episode 4. So in the last episode we left with Minka disappearing underneath the stage to go tangle with them nasty raccoons and a little later Posse came by just to see what was going on, so did Winslow. And then Chuck popped by to check on his stash of nuts but I think something spooked him. There he goes. Anyway, Minka did show up a little later, unscathed, and pretty damn proud of herself. Well, later that night, Mama Raccoon, after getting a little gussied up, decided to head out on the town by herself. Of course, this meant leaving the kids in charge, and, well, as we're gonna learn, they like to dig. And I'm naming this one Digger. <laughs> And I think what he's trying to do is collapse the stage, a little brat, but he could also be just trying to make a bigger hole for the entrance, and uh, hard to tell what the hell he's doing. Well, anyway, here comes his sister. Oh, I think we should redecorate the lair while Mum's gone. I think we can make vast improvements. Don't play with the human's camera. He's going to get quite upset. Oh, no, now what have you done? Oh. Oh, I'll, none of this is going to be good. <laughs> so anyway, I do keep this dollar store skeleton up on the stage because he just looks so damn cool as a prop. But that night, Digger stole his robes to redecorate underneath the stage. Bad mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a picture of Death disrobed. And I know there isn't any evictions during COVID, but an exception just had to be made here and uh, the little buggers had to go. So this is the main entrance. And on the other side of the stage by the tree trunk here is the secondary entrance and that was closed up. No more entrances under the stage. So anyway, Thak came by to visit. You all know Thak thinks he's a cat. And anyway, he had this complaint. Look, let them back under the stage. They've come to live with me and I can't stand it. They're at my tree, it's horrible. Now, Thack has a personal relationship with his tree. <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> he loves his tree. <laughs> so the next day, Posse was looking for birds. Chuck was looking for nuts. Winslow was looking for Chucks. And Minka could smell a rat. Because the night before is when Longtail decided to move in. Boy, I was hoping this place would become available. I grew up in this neighborhood where my parents knew the best places to eat. I was really young then and didn't eat much. I just ran around and bugged them a lot. But uh, I miss those old days when the parents gorged on nuts. But then... Dad had his climbing accident, and now Mom stays home to take care of him, so I'm living in here! And it's huge! Without a care in the world! Yep, nothing to go wrong here! Nothing at all, it's all mine, nothing can go wrong! And it already comes decorated with raccoon feces and dead insect carcasses! I just love it! Hello, uh -oh, it's the old tenants! I better just pretend nobody's home! So the platform you saw the rats eating off wasn't put there for them. It's just that uh, some of the larger birds couldn't get comfy on the bird feeder, so I thought I'd give them a platform that they could uh, eat off a lot easier. And as it turned out, the bigger birds did love the nuts, but so did the smallest little birds that uh, came to our establishment. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so the crows, they found out something else was going on in the backyard, so they came to investigate, and then, okay, Chuck found paradise. 
But that's a whole other episode, and we'll catch up with him next time. So I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that's uh, been watching these videos. I've had a lot of fun making them. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave me a like if you did like it. And uh, please share. Let other people see these videos and catch on to what's happening here. So thank you very much. What?